My mushroom corals were dying, but a single rainbow bubble tip split into three. Successes are of course rewarding, and failures are obviously devastating. Overall, the journey has been an enriching and educational experience. Welcome back to RGB Aquatics. This is my nano reef. It's a Red Sea Max Nano all-in-one complete reef tank system and it's been running for about two and a half months. The only additional items I got for the tank are an external fan to cool it down and an Inkper ITC 308 digital temperature controller. I have the temperature set to 80 degrees Fahrenheit with a 3 degree variance. I don't use a heater because my house stays warm all year. <laughs> The rest of the tank is fully stock. I had purchased the Reef LED 90 along with the Reef LED 50 initially, thinking I'd keep some SPS corals, but I went with mostly LPS, so the 50 was more than adequate. Here are my LED settings on the Reef Beat app. Although these settings might seem really low, they are actually more than enough for these types of corals. The tank comes with a gravity-fed auto top-off in the back and a protein skimmer that works once it settles in. However, I did upgrade the return pump from the stock pump to the RS Flow 1550 that's used for the maxed 130D. I do have a Nero 3, but my corals do not require high flow, so I don't have any other pumps in my tank. Oh, and I just got some extra filter socks just in case. My salinity was at 1.025, but dropped to 1.024. I tried to maintain it at 1.025. I aim for weekly water changes, but never go past bi-weekly. I use reef crystals or red sea coral salt because they're easy to obtain. My live rocks are from my old tank, yeah. specifically Fiji rocks, which aren't sold anymore. I'm using black sand, which makes my corals and colorful fish stand out. In my sump, I have a bag of sea camp matrix from my old tank and sea camp sea gel to control odor and phosphates. From week one, I added a yellow watchman goby and a pistol shrimp along with two rainbow bubble tip anemones, RPTAs. By week two, I found a listing on reefs.com for a gold dot discoma and a 24k torch. Almost forgot, but I also got the gold hammer from the same seller. I also moved my purple firefish goby from my innovative marine tank to this one. In week 3, I got a tequila sunrise mushroom for $20, and a Colorado sunburst anemone which I bought when it was the size of a quarter for $150. Now it's the size of my hand and has moved to a spot between 4 torches. I also picked up 2 torches, but I don't know their names, maybe Todd's, New York Knicks, I'm not sure. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Week 4, I bought a magical dragon soul torch. The seller had a 200 gallon tank full full of dragon souls, and I could only fit two in my tank. This coral has the most movement in my nano tank. I also got cotton candy torches, which seem darker than usual, but are still beautiful. Additionally, I acquired another unidentified torch. Any help in the comments would be appreciated. During week 4, I also got Superman mushrooms. They thrived initially, but are now dying for unknown reasons. Water parameters are good, and they are placed with other mushrooms that are doing well. Some people just don't have luck with mushrooms. In week 5, I visited Advanced Marine Aquatics on Mother's Day. My wife appreciated the flowers I gave her and bought me a domino and a black storm clownfish as well as a pink street grass. I last had a pink street grass over 10 years ago and have been searching for one since. They're extremely shy but this one has warmed up to the other tank mates. It still avoids me and my camera, possibly due to my body odor. What? Bruh. Okay. Once I get to 500 subscribers, maybe I'll replace these mushrooms and fill this side with porches, purple, green. And that was my Red Sea Max Nano Cube 20. Thank you. Subscribe. Yeah,